Hey guys, welcome to another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Titans Returns uh, G1 Retro um, Hardhead. So here he is in his tank mode, and unfortunately I don't have his packaging. In fact, I don't have any of the G1 Retro reissue packagings. Um, I don't know where they went. I lost them. I do plan on reviewing all of them, but I, I don't have their packaging, which really sucks. It was basically just um, a very G1 style packaging, so... Yeah, but here's Hardhead in his tank mode, and um, off the bat, it looks really good. Um, I don't own the original Titans Return version, but from seeing pictures of it, this one looks a heck of a lot better, just because you get um, a lot more uh, paint apps on this one than you did the other one, so that is uh, very, very, very nice. So, I do like how they added more paint apps on all of them versus uh, how they originally came out, so... But yeah, you get a lot of nice uh, silver and red underneath here. And, you know, on this side, you got Autobot symbols here on his uh, shoulders. Underneath, you just have a uh, robot mode. And I snapped this wheel off. If I can grab it. I popped that off with my thumb. That just snaps in underneath here. Like that. Like so. And he does have uh, three rolling wheels. He's got this center one right here and these two right here. So he can roll as, you know, things should. So... That's nice. Uh, the turret does have some articulation. Uh, he, he can bring it up and move it side to side. So, and it can go up and down. So, it's pretty nice. Um, as far as accessories go, you do get his gun, which is just molded in green plastic. And you can store that up uh, up here if you wanted to. So, you could do that. Or you could take it and plug it in at the center here. You could do that if you wanted. So. But you also get the uh, the head oh the headmaster or Titan Master or whatever they decided to call him in this line. But you got uh, him right here. I don't remember his name. I don't remember any of their names. But here he is. Um, he's his head is done up like Hardheads, and there is Hardheads head. So yeah, uh, articulation. The arms aren't ball joints, but they can really go only that way and they can go out a little bit and the legs just have hinges right there so yeah um as far as he goes though you can put him inside the uh the cockpit so you can you know bring his arms up and have it so that he's uh you know driving hard head so oops you can s smack him in there and have him drive hard head so you can do that or you can take him and open this uh, back section up on the uh, gun here. Take this gun, tab it in there, and then you could have him, you can plug him in here and have him uh, manning this uh, big turret if you wanted. So you can do that too. It's up to you, you know, it's your toy, so. But yeah, as far as tank mode goes, that is pretty much about it, so. I suppose we'll just get down to transformation. Um, take the turret and just pop it off, remove it. Um, for So for vehicle mode, this section here, you want it is going to be over on this side for robot mode. You want it to shift it over like that. And then come under here, take this piece, flip it up, tab that in, untab the legs from the bottom, and bring this entire section, or bring take the arms, untab them, take the section, tab it in like so. Take the legs, untap them from the side, and collapse them down. Then you can take the feet and bring them up like so. Then you got the legs all done. Then you want to take this section, bring this down. Oh, let me raise up the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Just a little bit. There we go. So you want to take the section, bring this down, and then take this, bring this down. And there is a tab right there that will tab in right into his butt. So just take that and tap that in like so. And then the arms here, you just want to take, extend them out, take the wrists, bring them out, extend the arms, bring the wrist out, and then you can take the, oops, if I can get them to stand up just right, then you can take the turret and plug it in up top here, or just drop it like I do and throw it everywhere. I mean, you could do that too if you wanted. Just take that and plug that in up top and kind of have it sit on his shoulder. And then, of course, you take the Titan Master, flip everything down, and kind of fold him up like so. And then you can take him and tap him in up top. 
And there you have uh, Hardhead in his uh, robot mode. And I think he's my favorite out of all of them. I think, what were there, five, six that came out? So he's definitely my favorite. Um, or one of my favorites anyways. Uh, but yeah, he looks really good. I love all the, um, the painted detail on here. And I don't know if this is, I, th I don't think this is paint. I think this is, um, oh, what do they call those? Uh, I don't remember, but I don't think that's painted on. That's a, not a, it's not a sticker, but that uh, might be a sticker. I don't know, but either case, the detail on his legs look nice. Um, obviously the same detail on his arm and on his legs. So overall looks really nice. Uh, as far as articulation goes, the turret can do the same thing that it could do in vehicle mode. You can bring it up and down and rotate it. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you can do what you want with that. The arms are on a ball joint. They go in and out. They can go out like so. And uh, he's got a bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbows. He has a wrist swivel, and the wrist can go in and out. Uh, nothing at the waist. Uh, the hips are on ball joints. They can go forward. They can go back. They can go in and out. He has a thigh swivel. He's got 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And uh, no, nothing at the feet. They can just go down. Um, so as far as his uh, arms go, uh, you can leave them like this, which I think is okay. But I think they look a little too long. So what I like to do is actually collapse them back up and just have them bent at the elbow. I think that looks a lot better. I don't know. That's just me. But I just like how that looks over having them fully extended. So um, obviously you can take his gun and he can hold it you know like any other transformer with a gun so yeah but as far as uh hardhead goes um uh well one quick thing he also has the uh loose leg hips syndrome so he's got that going for him but um which is kind of a problem with all these figures but i'll, I'll get into that later but um yeah as far as hardhead goes though i do like him like i said he's one of my favorites I think he's a very nice update to the one that we got before, which again, I don't own, but just from looking at pictures, he does look a lot better. So yeah, there is my review of the Transformers uh, G1 Retro uh, Titans Return Hardhead. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and have a good one.